what up YouTube this is morning day one stage five we're out on the Lewis Smith Lake this morning practicing and so far it's been a pretty slow morning a couple bites nothing uh, nothing, to sh nothing to ride home about got out nice and early this morning I thought it would be a shad spawn going on but uh haven't seen any bird activity haven't seen any bait towards the surface I'm not sure it should be happening here pretty pretty quick so i'm hoping that uh we can find that because you can really really catch a lot of fish early in the morning when they're when they're on those shad so you know that's something i'm that i'm gonna continue to look for beside that it's a beautiful morning out here on smith lake beautiful lake this place is loaded with fish it's here uh if you guys don't know it's located here in just north of birmingham a little bit kind of northwest it's a lot of fish in this pond Great Lake. They just had the open here. Finished up yesterday. We start today, and they uh, they caught them pretty good. So I hope we can do the same. Get my graphs here dialed in. We gonna keep looking. Y'all stay tuned. Water break. Late, late afternoon update. I ain't been vlogging much, but I ain't been feeling too too good. But anyways, uh, man, fishing's relatively tough out here. You know, there was a big tournament here just last week. There was an open, um, you know, 186 boats. But I know, I know this lake to have way more fish in it than what it's showing right now, regardless of how many tournaments have been here. So um, I think I might have had 12 bites today, which might sound like a lot but out here that's not good at all you know I've been trying everything that I could think of haven't really tried super deep yet you know 30 plus might start looking around that area a little more see if I can figure something out but as of right now you know the shallow to mid range and it don't really seem to be happening there's some schooling activity you know busting fish busting here and there you cannot rely on that you know, you roll into an area praying that they're going to come up school and it never happens. You just need to be in the area when it goes down and be able to catch a couple of them. You know, that's really how that works. So, I'm not too excited about the fish that I've caught today or the bites that I've had on school and fish. Caught a couple drop shot and, you know, Cinco, stuff like that. Wow. Something massive just jumped over there. Huh. But anyway. We're gonna keep our head down and we're gonna try to catch us a couple. Figure out how to catch a couple, not necessarily catch them, but we need to figure something. All right, morning, day two practice, Lake Smith, Lewis Smith Lake. We just put in, I'm right here uh, near the Duncan Bridge. I came up the pond today. Uh, I'm gonna try to look at something a little bit different. I think I see some fish breaking over there. Might need to go check that out. But anyways, yesterday was pretty pretty tough. You know, we had about 12 to 14 bites. And on some fisheries, that's a good day. But out here on Smith Lake, it's a prolific spotted bass fishery. You know, you, you need to be catching 20 plus fish for sure. I'm not sure what it's gonna take to make the cut here, but it's uh it's likely to be pretty, pretty significant. So changing things up, trying something different, new area of the lake. Today we got to be off the water at four o'clock, so we don't have nearly as long as we did yesterday. So we kind of got to move around a lot faster. All right, as promised, we are chestying. <laughs> so it's early in the morning. Of course, the first thing in the morning, I'm looking for shad to be spawning surface activity. And so we got our surface plug. And here's a quick tip for all my tournament guys out there. You'll see I got some hooks removed and or bent in or broken off. Definitely don't want to be catching them today, the day before the tournament. So just a little bit of prevention to help out. You know, it it's tough. The hardest thing to do as a fisherman is not catch one. You know, sometimes that's what you got to do. So today is all about just getting bit. I seen some bait busting over here. So we're going to try this out really, really quick and then uh, I'll make a move. Oh, there went one. 
He's still on it. He's trying to get it. <laughs> that was a little guy. Not what we looking for. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's a bunch of herring in the water right here. Spawning. And there was some, some bass busting on them right here. And I picked up this little swim bait and I caught one real quick. But I wanted to come see what these herring look like. Huh, they're pretty decent size too. Probably couldn't see those. They're like a foot or so underwater. But first bite of the morning. Other than that little small guy on top. Just pulled up to another spot, starting to get a little later in the day. So, as you can see, I got plenty of spinning rods on the deck. Right now, we're going to get old Shaky Head a try. If you fish spotted bass ever, Shaky Head is an excellent way to catch them. I don't know what it is about it, but this one's all kind of beat up. Had a few bites on it, but 316th ounce Shaky Head, a Z-Man Hula Sticks, hard to beat. Little dude, we are not looking for you. Whoa. Whoa, 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 buddy. All right, we're back at the house. So I'm in group B, not fishing tomorrow. My boy DC, Jay Wills, they fishing tomorrow. Me and Adrian got tomorrow off to get the rig tackle. I'm out here in the boat messing around with stuff, trying to figure out what I could possibly tie on to get like 25 extra bites because that's what I need. This is the place we're staying too. We haven't showed you guys the crib. Tomorrow when I get up on my off day, I'll give you guys a tour of the house. Got a nice little place here on the lake. Pretty sweet. This is it. This is, this is it. This is where we at. Where you going, Avina? Where you going? Where you going? Oh, I thought you was headed back to Tennessee. Oh. <laughs> Bradley. Bradley. Come here, buddy. Here. Oh, Bradley trying to get ran over by the green monster. That's what we call the green monster. <laughs> Getting ready to blast off. Got a couple minutes here. They caught them pretty good yesterday looking at the weights. A lot of fish caught. So we absolutely need to catch us a lot today. That's always the case, right? Yeah. Beautiful morning. I got a decent little run, so I'm kind of bundled up a little bit. Absolutely beautiful morning. I'll give you guys a look at what's going on behind us here. Got my boat official right here. <laughs> Ernie, that's the scenery. Everybody ready to roll out here this morning on Smith Lake. It's going to be a beautiful day, regardless. We just need these fish to cooperate, and it'll be all good. So stay tuned. There'll be more fish catching. Hey, I brought my chesty today, too. I'm aware of chesty, so I'm listening to you guys. Get a couple extra rods rigged up here. Can't beat a pink worm when fishing for spotted bass. It's always good to have that sucker on. Got my woo tungsten. Like that little green drop shot weight right there. Blends in. Yes, sir. Two minutes to lines in. So, just getting everything, getting all the crickets ready here. Got off. Got off. Yep. God, that sucks. Jumped and come off. 
Well, he did that fast too. He come up, busted, he hooked up and it was not long. He said, I'm out of here. That same fish, if I'd have threw a, a drop shot or something up there, I'd have, you know, I'd have, I'd have caught him. That's what's so crazy about it. It's like that top water is so risky sometimes with them trouble hooks. But others, you know, I mean, it's but it's gonna draw the strike too. It's like it's a, it's a catch twenty two. You don't throw it, you don't get the bite. Sometimes. Gotta make it interesting. Throw it over the wire. One pound, four ounces. One four. All right. You caught us one. Thanks, little buddy. It's little dudes. What's up, man? Stay down, baby. Gosh, dang it. That is. He's a lot bigger than I thought. Two pounds, nine ounces. Two nine. That's a good one. Thanks, big dog. Appreciate you, buddy. Two nine. That's a good one. Yeah, I can I can relate to that. You ought to be scorable, buddy. One pound, two ounces. One, two. Thank you.
super close, but I may not. Oh, wow. 15 ounces, unscorable. that thing so fast. Mm -hmm. Freaking lightning speed. One pound, ten ounces. One ten. Touch, no penalty. Well, I mean, he got that. You think he wanted that popper? I mean, Ooh. look at that. That's how you want him to eat it right there. Gone. I'm about to get the old. I'm about to get the old tweezers out for you, buddy. Good lord, you got it, boy. That's how I want them all to eat it. Give him a little pick with him. A little better than that last one. Two pounds, five ounces. Two five. Got it. All right, cool. Two five. Thank you, baby. Caught a few bites up here in practice. We'll see if that holds up. Talk about him, I guess. Boy, you are skinny, bud. Fourteen ounces. Okay. Fourteen ounces. That one's going to keep. Crazy, buddy. You a large one? You are. Oh, Mr. Large Mo. One pound, three ounces. One three. Thank you, little buddy. Come on, 
buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Seriously? One pound, two ounces. One, two. All right. Fourteen ounces. Oh, that's a good one. Alright, so tournament's over. I had 22, I had 22 8, and I'm in 25th place. So we still in this thing. I'm sitting here chilling with my boy Adrian Avina. What, what you do today, Adrian? Bro, you don't even want to know. Tell hey, tell the people. So so, so straight up, right? Okay, I, I I think I think I got marked by a little bit. I think I, think I have uh, 23 pounds. Yep. And I'm in 24th place. Here okay. Twenty fifth. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, so him and I were twenty fourth, twenty fifth. But I did a freaking dumb thing. So I'm sitting there, first period. I literally have two bass for three pounds. Start of the second period, I finally hook one. It's a two pounder. I'm reeling it in. It's got my. It's got it choked. I go and I grab it. It's literally bleeding everywhere. So what do I do? Instead of getting carp, instead of getting my carpet plastered, dude, it's like shark like a week, bro. Like Jesus. straight up bleeding everywhere. Golly. Yeah, that's awful. That's awful. That's Damn, bad. that's bad. So I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm, I'm unhooking it over the boat because I don't want it to bleed everywhere. Right. Sucker shakes and it falls in the water. Two, Two pounder. pounder. Then away. <laughs> Damn. Away. Bro, that'll put you inside. Yeah, but it don't matter because, I mean, it all well, it, is, it is. Yeah, I don't know. But if I miss it by two pounds, bro, I'll be, be pissed. Yeah, oh, I'll, for I'll, sure. I'll, I'll be real mad. I'll be pissed too. So, me and Adrian are basically tied. This is cool, kinda. So it'd be really cool. We both make the I, the, the, the the twenty cut and fish on Saturday. We're waiting on Jay Wills and DC and Brody to get here. And here in a minute, I'm gonna reveal to you guys where we eat dinner. But if I'm waiting on Jay Wills, y'all probably got a damn good idea where we about to eat dinner. Stay tuned. All right, the boys just showed up. Me, DC, Jay Wills, Adrian Avina. I don't know if Brody is. I don't think Brody can. It's just the four of us. He's eating other fish. He got, he got <laughs> Brody's, Brody got his old woman with him this tournament, so he's occupied. He can't eat too cool to have dinner with us. But anyway, check it out. So here we go. This is dinner for the night, you guys. Rock and roll sushi. What you need to understand though right now, this is what you need to understand. What you need to understand is we are in Coleman, Alabama right now. Okay? Coleman, which is like northern Alabama, which is like hella far from the ocean. Just side note. So if I get sick, y'all probably gonna know why. But meanwhile, 
the tur the tournament the tournament leader right here. This hey man, guy. catching a boy. He can't hey, we double vlogging right We're now. We double vlogging, baby. Hey, hey, he's hey, vlogging. I'm you. vlogging you. I'm vlogging you. Vlogging. We, we, we vlogging. Hey, vlogging. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, hey, I need to fire my hey, son up. Oh, <laughs> the YouTube, <laughs> the YouTube cast be hollering at me for you. I'm gonna put this all the time. DC all day long. Throw it on the ground. Coming up. Hey, FYI, anybody. Rock and roll sushi. I'll put it. I'll put it. Hey, I'll put it in the description. Yes, sir. We vlogging. I ain't gonna lie, that, that thing kind of well, scares me a little bit. Man. man, listen. Hey, did you man, say kinda? This, this, this scares me, man. No, this Rock, is legit. Rock and roll sushi. I don't shit. know about this. Pray, pray for us. Like junk, baby. Yeah, ain't no chance that great. Not really. A little uh, off day shenanigans. Me and Avina just rolled up to this spot right here. What's this place called, Adrian? I can't remember. Pats. Pats. Pats Archery and Outdoor here in uh, Jasper, Alabama. Had to get some drop shot ways for me. Not sure what Adrian got. But he got some, some swimmers. Oh, he got some swimmers. Okay. All right. Well, <clears throat> back to the house we go. Time to retie on. Got to put on some special baits because we need to catch about 30 pounds tomorrow. The boys getting it after it today. DC and Wheels, they catch them pretty good. So <clears throat> it's going to be our turn to come tomorrow. We got some ground to make up, Adrian. Let's get, a, let's get an update. Where's DC at? DC's in 12th. DC's in 12th. They're about to start the third period. DC in there. Good job, baby. Wheels is shaking them off. <laughs> yeah, Wheels is, yeah, he's shaking them off for sure. He don't need to catch a single bass. That dude. All right, y'all. See you in a little bit. Time to rig. All right, out here in the boat, rigging up. This is what you guys don't get to see. You see us when we pull up to the dock and we got everything in order and in place, and it's nice and it's pretty and all of that. But check this out. Okay, this is my boat right now. This is how I'm living. Rods everywhere. I keep this in my box, in my in my day box right here. This kind of like a junk drawer at your house. You know, you got that one drawer at home where you just got all kind of random items. So I keep one box in my boat like that. This is like my junk drawer box, okay? And then everything else is kind of organized. It could be better, but this is post day one, so I'm in a little bit of a shamble. It's decent. So I got most of my rods rigged up. As you guys can see, I got a lot of spinning rods on the deck this week. Um, drop shot, undecided, probably be a light, small swim bait. Another drop shot. Wacky rig, stick bait, <clears throat> shaky head, pool of stick, and another wacky worm. I mean, spotted bass stuff. I don't really know what I'm going to throw mainly tomorrow, but I caught most of my fish yesterday on a drop shot. I think I caught four or five in the morning on top on a popper, on an old school yellow magic. I got to re-rig re him up. He's been, he's been beat up pretty good over the years. That's been a good one for me. And uh, everything else came on drop shot, so... I, you know, I'm kind of confused really what to do. I kind of want to try some new things, fish some new areas, try some different baits. But at the end of the day, I need to get a lot of bites. And yesterday I probably had 30 bites. Caught 14 that were keepers, and I probably caught about 15, 16 non-keepers. You know, I can't really be mad at the number of bites that I got. You know, my dad always says, he got an old school saying, he says, you can't control the size of the one that bites you. That's, that's relatively true. You know, you can't really kind of keeping that in mind I'm gonna go out tomorrow with the mindset of get as many bites as I can get I need to catch about 30 pounds from the looks of it so we're gonna give them everything we got re-rig all this stuff and see what we can do just wanted to touch base real quick from the house the place we stand right here on the lake on Smith Lake it's it's pretty nice I'll take you guys on a walk through in a little while show you my messy room been here about three days now Show you the back, we got a dock and all kind of cool stuff. So I'll give you guys a walkthrough here in a little bit. 